What's up, family? Tristan Thompson's mother, Andrea Thompson, unexpectedly died of a heart attack on Thursday. Andrea was at her home in Toronto when she went into cardiac arrest. Although she was rushed to a nearby hospital, the emergency medical team could not resuscitate. TMZ reports that they spotted Khloe Kardashian with her ex on a flight on his way back home to be with family. And here's where it gets even darker. People started going in online on Tristan's mother for being overweight. Fam, I usually don't do this, but I wanna show you how cynical some people can be. Keep in mind, this man just lost his mother and people are commenting with things like this. If you want to have a heart attack early, be shaped like that. And that's all I got for you, fam. I'm not gonna read anymore. Here's the thing, fam. If someone is fat, overweight, obese, whatever term you wanna use, don't you think they already know that? If someone's family member, loved one, is overweight, fat, obese, don't you think they already know that? Don't you think just perhaps they've tried to tell that person that that was a problem? Let me, let me read this one more, just this one more. If she's trying to be supportive of Tristan, she speak to him over the phone. Child, please. Next heart attacks can be avoided if she went to her doctor regularly. He's so concerned about his mom. Why he take his parent to the doctor? They were trying to say, why didn't he take his parent to the doctor? You think that man had that conversation with his mother before? I understand, fam, you know, like at the end of the day, people who are overweight makes a choice to not lose the weight. But it's, easy, it's easier said than done. I know two people personally who was good friends to me who died of obesity. One of my homies was 29. He died of a heart attack. He was severely overweight. About a month before he died, I told him, I say, say, man, let me know when you want to get out on that track with me. You know, let me know. And he was, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know. I'm like, no, serious, man. Let's get out there, man. You know, you got to drop that weight, man. You know, you can't walk. You can't keep walking around like that, man. You know, it'll get you. He's like, yeah, yeah, I know. Got the call. He had died in his living room, sitting on the sofa. 29 years old. He told me that he's tried to lose the weight before. And I get it, fam, but some people just ain't, some people just ain't got that kind of drive, you know? And for some people, it takes more than just working out, trying to eat well. It, it, you know, like sometimes, fam, it's just, you know, it just ain't as easy as people think it is. I know I would like to think if I ever got that big, I could just knock it off. But you got to understand, a person didn't just wake up and be 300 pounds or 200 pounds overweight, 100 pounds overweight. It happened over time. So at any point, they could have just stopped, right, and said, you know what, I'm going to slow this down. But somehow, some way, you know, the pounds just kept on stacking on, stacking on, stacking on. And people understand the risk of obesity. And they're still dying. You think they just want to die? I got it. Some of y'all say, well, they must have wanted to die. They was obese. Ah. I'm just saying, fam, that I've seen it. I've seen it, and it just ain't that easy. 
you know, um, and to like to criticize this dude, try to hold him accountable for his mom being overweight. That ain't cool. The man grieving. Let the man have it. Whatever you think about the Kardashians, pump your brakes and let the man grieve. Let the family grieve in peace. Kardashians ain't going nowhere. Y'all can always put your put your put your put your rage on pause. You know, few days, few weeks, and you can get right back to criticizing the Kardashians and anybody associated with them. But man, we got to we got to have some type of decorum when when we lose members of our community. You know. Especially, I'm talking about specifically people who ain't really did you no wrong. You know, people who ain't really like menaces to society. You know, some of these people, man, he's whatever. But, you know, that woman ain't messed with nobody. She don't deserve to have her memory smeared like that. Come on, fam, we got to do better. But what say you? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk.